welcome back to another two episodes of Initial D, Season 1, I guess, because I, I didn't know there was multiple seasons, and this is going to be Episode 21 and 22 of the Season 1. But I was looking at it, and I was like, oh, there's only told Season 1, and I wasn't looking further into it. My fault. But yes, there is multiple seasons. I correct myself from the last video, so if you left a comment, I'm sorry. I just figured it out. I'm a couple days ahead of, this, of that video, probably. Or, of, of, of well, for you guys, it would be like the day, but... Recording this, I'm probably recording it within the same 24 to 38 hours, probably, of that video. So I did not get to see your comments at all, but I appreciate them nonetheless. But yes, it looks like there's multiple seasons, so that's a good thing. I like long series. I don't know why. I really like them. So let's go ahead and get into these episodes right here. It looks like we're slowly leading up to the final boss battle of this season. Let's, let's get into it. Guys, two brain cells are for doing it again. They're trying to fight for that third place. I have to say it every time because it, it just it's it's how he works. He's counting four, so he's not even counting the one loser that made fun of the eighty eighty five. Got it. There's, there, there's this girl right there. Bye! And he out of there. He, he really out of there. Oh man, she's, she, she's literally writing best girl of the series right here. Dear God, this girl. Throws a little Delulu. Not gonna lie. I know earlier in the series I was trying to figure out this dude's voice actor, the or not this dude, but the um the the the, the, the guy that fell in love with Mako. And I looked it up and it wasn't showing all the voice all the roles that he took, but I don't know why it didn't show all I don't know if I was looking at the right guy when I was searching it up, but I looked it up. And the reason I recognize it is because he plays one of the most famous anime characters of all time, and that is Frankie from One Piece. Yes. Frankie is one of the most famous anime characters. Not not like in the top ten, but he's really high up on there. I'd easily say in the top one hundred, easily. And there's millions of characters out there. And so I was listening to him like it sounds like Frankie, but the voice actor now is getting so old. And if you if any of you do watch One Piece, that he's starting to lose his voice. You can really hear it in the most recent episodes. But yes, that's how I I got. I was like, wait a minute, that sounds like someone. He's just not acting crazy, because Frankie has a crazy voice. Because his whole entire thing is super! And he'll say it kind of like that. So, those of you that don't watch to explain it, he says a line like that, and he over, like, pronounces the whole thing. Of course, he has a weird little stance. Still. But that's why I started hearing it whenever he got, like, excited or something. I'd hear it more. But so this is whenever he was a little bit younger. Like, he's 60-something years old now. And he was definitely voice acting Frankie. Well, no, I don't even think... No, Frankie wasn't part of the... Yet. So this was before. Of 
come on, guy. You, you, you stop ignoring your girl. Wait, you got into a fight with him? I guess that, that was probably like something we haven't seen yet. Or was that part of you? I know he was dreaming. I know at one point he was he did hit somebody. I thought that was a dream. Or was he recalling a memory? Oh, 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 don't deny this, bro. Good, good. There was there was no denial. No one interrupted it. We didn't pull the anime tropes of today where there's about to be a kiss and I don't know where somebody fucking pops their head about if someone's the asshole and it re interrupts it. Good, good. I get it. Those are always supposed to be for, for comedic relief, but they've done it so many fucking times that it. Like, I want my edgy anime with fucking... Basically, hentai. I don't want I just want shit to actually happen and not hint at things. Oh, they're fine. I thought they, like, broke down or something. Would have been part of the whole leading up to... Oh, oh, fuck. You, you had to bring that up. Oh, yep. Yeah. Dude's fucking hurt. Poor dude. We're going through some midlife crisis right now. At 18? Dude's about to make this shit more awkward than it really needs to be. Okay, I was just going in there and trying to figure out who the fuck voice acts. The fucking guy with two fucking brain cells here. And I was kind of distracted by it. But he's, be he's being ridiculous about this whole fucking thing. But what was it? I think it's the same one. It was just bugging me. Did he voice act him any further? I'm trying to see here. Yeah, he did it in this one. So... His voice actor is also kind of legendary because, again, he voice acts a character in One Piece that is super popular. Not 100, but super popular amongst anime characters. He fucking drag queen king fucking Ivankov. That's why it's been bugging me. Some of these voice actors I'm sitting here listening to and I'm just like, I thought, I think, I, I want to say, but I, I, I can't say for sure. And I just, you know, it took a moment just now to go look at him because it got me curious. Because a lot of the voice actors in One Piece are getting old now because One Piece is fucking old. <laughs> let's, let's be real here. There's an entire several generations now that are fucking younger than One Piece. I was listening and I'm like, that sounds a lot like Ivankov, because whenever he flips the fuck out, it sounds the exact same. And so I was 100% correct. Someone's just a little jealous. 
But I'm definitely what I'm gonna hold on. Are we gonna have a quick little race in between the boss battle? Not another side quest. All right, now this fucking guy is bothering me for the after. So there, before I start the next one, I want to figure out um, this voice actor thing. Some of these guys are starting to sound familiar, and I get it. Some of the voice actors I'm used to are a lot older now. They might be the same ones, and some of them have been. But I can catch a lot of voice actors, especially if they've done a lot of things. A lot of, like, um, uh, what do you call, a lot of characters, especially more popular characters. And very, like, unique characters. Oh, he does y Yizak. That's that's where I'm recognizing him from. The the blonde haired guy and the fucking super looking thing. I don't know what it's called. It looks like a Toyota Super. I don't know what it's fucking actually called. Oh, he does Rob Lucci. Okay, One Piece. Is Rob Lucci? Did he do him the entire time? Because Rob, they just brought him back in the, one of the more recent episodes. So that might be why I'm, why I'm hearing him now. Oh, man. You're not going to have anyone else yet. I mean, as they talk, I kind of get, like, this little radar in my head, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that thing. Like, I don't think I recognize Takumi's voice actor. Does he do anything from, like, One Piece? Because I've watched a lot of One Piece. I'm going to say that right now. Of course, he's got two voice actors. Why? Why do some of these? Did, did the other one pass away or something? Because that's usually the main reason why, unless they've had, like, long breaks in between a series, they will then have a, uh, a replacement sometimes. But if they're, like, the main character, they usually, especially in Japan, they really try not to um, replace voice actors. Like, they really, like, Bleach. Like, they did not replace the voice actor for Bleach, even though it's been years since... The end of the first part of the Bleach, like before the Thousand Year Blood War, which I haven't seen the animation for that, but I read the manga. I'm happy with at least knowing what happens. I'll watch the anime one day, maybe on here. Maybe, maybe I'll do that as a video. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This guy does Pedro from One Piece. Pedro, I don't recognize the voice, but I know Pedro is the main character. So talking to his voice actor does Pedro. Awesome, got it. All right, let's get into this episode. Enough of me fucking going off on a tangent because my fucking ears are. Not really bleeding, but they're going off, and my radar is like, Oh my god, I know this! This sounds familiar! They're 18, why are they in school? What is, is Japanese school different than American schools with the age that you get out of high, of high school? Because I could have sworn he said they said he was 18. And in America, because I'm an American. Talk about that. But anyway, uh, 18 is roughly about the time you get out of high school, so 18 to 19. That's for me, then I'm like 20 by the time I get out of high school. Idiot, and I'm bad at school. Oh, that brought back memories. Oh, that brought back memories. All right. 
those of you that are watching this and you know about the light memory most cars don't have that now. at least the last few that i've been in did not have that like modern cars but yes i remember the exact switch i fuck with it whenever i was a kid but <laughs> and my mom would slap the shit out of me every time i do it And everybody instantly goes, oh shit. <laughs> He's just like, bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That just looks fucking terrifying. Like, flying off the side of the fucking cliff there would be terrifying. But I guess that's what they, uh, these racers live for. They live for the rush. Oh, that would be very bad for these. Neck and neck. All right. Intense blurring effect, go. Ooh, barely one. Damn, dude got fucking wrecked again, mentally. All right, so we're, like I said, this is going to make a little side bo boss battle. Dude, you already know you're going to have a fucking mini heart attack on the way down. Is he doing, is, is he the tofu now? <laughs> is he the tofu? That's all I can think about. The tofu sits in the back of the trunk. Or in the back of it, either in the back seat or in the trunk. And so he's making him be the weight of the tofu, because I'm pretty sure tofu does get heavy if you put enough of it in there. All the G-Force he must be filling back there would be insane. Oh, 
Quick duct tape in place. Let's do it. All right, that's the end of those two episodes there. So ah, this is, these are, it, we're getting another little side quest, and it's great. This time, they're, they're, I don't know why, but they keep making these races more exciting. I get it; it's a race. Some people are really excited. I've never been in a street race. I owned a vehicle, but I didn't know enough about. It. I could change probably the oil if I looked at it hard enough. But that's the extent of what I could do to a car, and that's about as much as I knew of, know of cars. I know how to drive a stick shift. I guess I know more than that shit. My age at least doesn't know what the is, but um, yeah, so <laughs> some reason they keep it going and interesting. So I'm looking forward to the next few episodes here. Almost done with season one now that I know there's multiple seasons. I'm really one, I, I, I don't know where they're gonna take it from. So, g gonna look forward to that. If you're liking the video and you want to continue watching this and going along that journey, slash that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one.